Good afternoon. A high-stakes visit to stabilize relations between the U.S. and China. Secretary of State Antony Blinken meeting with China's President Xi Jinping after two intense days here. After that meeting, Secretary Blinken sat down with us and was clear this visit had to happen. We were in an increasingly unstable place in our relationship. I think this is um, the start of a process to put a little more stability into it. With friction on nearly every front, including tariffs, espionage and Taiwan, U.S.-China relations have been in near freefall. Add to it now growing tension over a Chinese spy base on Cuba. I repeatedly raised it. And, of course, this is not something new. Is the administration at all concerned that about China making it more than a spy base? We always have concerns when they are physically taking a position that could turn into a military base of some kind. Chinese officials have grievances, too, like U.S. export bans on technology and U.S. sanctions on several senior officials here, including Xi's Minister of Defense. It's why China refused Blinken's request to reopen military crisis lines, communication cut off by Beijing last year, despite dangerously close encounters between warships in the Taiwan Strait and military aircraft over the South China Sea, something we saw in February on board another U.S. Navy plane intercepted by a Chinese jet. That's the quickest path to an inadvertent conflict. I can say that they understand very clearly the importance we attach to this. I think it's profoundly in their interest, too. This was the trip Secretary Blinken called off when that spy balloon was shot down. So I asked him, does this mean the balloon incident is now water under the bridge with China? And he told me, so long as it doesn't happen again, quote, that chapter should be closed. This visit is now expected to pave the way for President Xi to meet with President Biden in the U.S. before the end of the year. Craig. All right. Janice Mackey Freer there with the Secretary of State. Janice, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.